Where's Big Boss? Where'd he go? Alright, yo. Man. What's up? You're gonna idle for me. Oh, I see. We're doing this. Yep. Don't think too hard about it. Alright, tell me when. Yep, we're good. What's up, buddy? What up, dude? How you doing, man? I'm good, bro. How are you? Dude, I'm doing incredibly well. I've had some time to sit and stare at this thing and do some thinking. And uh, I think I'm ready to start working on this thing, bro. Oh, man. Yep. Are we getting after it today? A little bit, a little bit. You know, we're just testing the water. It's not gonna go too crazy. So why don't we see about starting the mock-up of this rear end? We're still missing a couple parts that are in the mail right now, but I think we've got enough to kind of at least get a pretty good sense of how this thing's gonna work. First and foremost, let's talk about the overall game plan for this thing and how we're gonna do this sort of order of operations wise. The way I like to do these kind of things is I always start with the rear end first because it's so much simpler in a lot of ways is gonna be easier to just sort of like then set the stance of the cart the way I want. So first is rear end, down the line we'll tackle front end and we'll throw a cage on this thing. It's all stuff we've kind of done before in one way or another. The only new thing is independent uh, rear suspension, which I'm optimistic that's not going to be a huge struggle. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overconfident, but I'm pretty hyped on it, dude. And this thing's going to be so simple. You know what I mean? Like we're keeping it bare bones. We're keeping it lightweight. We're keeping it no frills. You know, we won't have to deal with like a complex electrical system. Like I want to just be able to send this thing and have this be like the, all right, you want to thrash? Like this is the machine. So for today, first thing I want to do is our Rear brake disc, I bought sort of a universal hub for it off of Go Power Sports. And on here, it's got two holes that line up. And then here and here, we're gonna need to put two more holes. Drill through here, put a couple more pieces of hardware in it. And then this is gonna get mounted somewhere right in here. And then those hubs will go on either side through the pillow blocks that we have. Have I showed you the pillow blocks? I don't think I have. Look at these things, dude. Big boy pillow blocks. Ooh. Big uh, one and a half inch bore, which I got specifically because these hubs from Go Power Sports, they're uh, live axle hubs, almost fit. We're 0 0.07 inches off. So I've been calling around trying to find a local machine shop that would turn these for us down um, without too much success. So I got an idea, we'll, we'll get to that later. But these are gonna have to get turned down to go into here. And then these pillow blocks will get mounted somewhere in this vicinity. Have our sprocket right here. I'm gonna push all this as far back as I can because ultimately I'd like to kind of mount the engine up and above here. So we have like a true mid engine setup. Those are almost rear engine our existing carts, just the way that the axle lays out. But we had much more um, difficult packaging restraints on those carts than we will here. So this one, we're gonna have a little more freedom to do what we want. So these will get mounted here. This will slide in. But in order to bolt this up to our Miata axles, these studs are too wide. So I'm gonna need to drill these holes out in the axle to accept uh, these studs. Man, if we can get this fitting onto here and this fitting into here, I think I'll be a pretty happy boy today. Next order of business would then be to cut our one inch axle to the right length, but I'm kind of waiting on that until uh, I have another one of these hubs. It's in the mail right now. So by next video that we work on this thing, we'll have it. So yeah, like I said, I went ahead and just took a, a transfer punch to punch in a little spot right here for my drill bit to roll in. And I think I'm just gonna send it. Actually, you know, be prudent. Let's let's do a quick test. I need an axle. All right. Before I go drilling a million holes, or two holes. There's already a million holes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cooling, bro. Oh yeah, dude. That's centered up nice. All right, cool. Let's get this thing drilled out.
I should have done this in the drill press, but it's fine. All right. The hell, bro? Next order of business is I gotta drill all these holes out to half an inch and Hope that it lines up with our hub. I mean, I know it's gonna line up with our hub. I hope it's gonna line up with our hub. <laughs> Moment of truth time. Oh my God, it's so close. These don't go to this. I thought I had the right hardware for it. I think these are half inch 20 thread. It's just my guess from looking at it. What do we got? Oh, hey! Oh! What is that? It's a big bob with a big box. Go Power Sports, baby. Woo! I don't know what it is, but there you go. Can we take a peek? Let's do it. Yeah. You got your knife? Of course. Thank you, sir. Remember that other hub I was telling you about? Yeah. We got it. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Sick. Ooh, 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 and the hardware. Oh, thank you, Go Power Sports. Is this all the stuff we needed for right now? <laughs> I wish we staged this. <laughs> There's one big question mark out of the way as far as things are working or not. Next big question is getting this shaft turned down to fit into pillow blocks. In ideal circumstances, I'd have this turned down specifically and leave the thick part um, at the end here, so it only slides in so far and do that uniformly, but we don't have a lathe and... Are we getting on our sketchy today? Yeah, we're getting on the sketchy. It's gonna, yeah, 100%. This has a bore, an internal diameter of 1.5 inches, and the external diameter is 1.57. So we need to take off a total of 0 0.07 inches from this diameter, which means we're only gonna have to come in 0.03. So what I'm thinking is pull one of Big Bob's rear tires off, install this on the axle, and I'll just come in with the flap wheel and I'll just sand, <laughs> sand it as it spins. <laughs> That's my best plan. You've never gotten quite this sketchy. No, this is a weird one. Actually, let me look. Ooh, tight clearances. I got a game plan 
and it's even sketchier than I originally thought it was gonna be. All we really need to do is make this spin and make it available to me so that I can take material off this shaft. If I push this on all the way, it's gonna be really hard for me to get in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is put this all the way out here. And then I'm just gonna tape this shaft as a spacer. I don't know, seems fine. Oh, dude, easy peasy. We got this. Okay, sick. Should we get weird, dude? <laughs> Do we have any other choice? No, we actually don't. Where's Big Boss? Where do you go? All right, yo. What's up? You're gonna idle for me. Oh, I see. We're doing this. Yep. I'll think too hard about it. All right, tell me what. Yes, we're good. 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 So technically this is working. The progress is just incredibly slow. I switched to the file, hoping to be more aggressive and because I wasn't getting good contact when I'm using this, I can't keep it as flat as I'd like to. And so I'm doing just like the tiniest little, I'm taking off material faster with this, but it's really kind of tricky. What we could try is I'll put a brand new flap disc on here We'll try the flap disc one more time, see if we can get more material off, and then I'll clean it up with the file, and then from the file we'll go down to some sandpaper. But we've barely taken anything off. But yeah, let me let me swap this, and we'll give it one more good college try, see if we make any progress. If not, we'll just call this one an L for Tyrannus, and we'll go to an actual machine shop and get it turned down. You gotta do what you gotta do. Give it a little gas, sir. <laughs>
Look, it's just basically almost perfectly flush with this right here. No slop. Not bad for a little. So we don't need a lathe? <laughs> <laughs> we don't even deserve this. No, we don't. The uh, go-kart gods were smiling on us today. Oh my God. All right. I'm sorry. I'm just shook. I wasn't expecting this to work. <laughs> Not that I'm telling you how to do this. I'm just telling you how we did it. That was just a 40 grit flap wheel. It took off a decent amount of material and nobody died. We're just sick. Action. Ignore the new bandanas, but we need protection for our lungs. Yeah. Let's hammer this hub back out of our axle here and we'll get this one turned down. And then we'll have a nice little kind of mock-up to play with, which would be sick. Yeah, thanks. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it again. I got a bunch of metal in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, you can tell we took off some serious material. Jesus. So, I guess this means we should drill out the other holes on the other axle, get everything hammered together, and we can close this thing up with a nice little mock up of our rear end. Oh, let's get her done. Yeah. Get over here. Let's uh, let's start holding this stuff in place. Yeah. So, got our Miata modified rear axles hooked up to our Go Power Sports live axle hubs, turned down to fit into our big old half inch pillow blocks. Just kind of rest that on there. Yep. And then we'll need to be able to fit a sprocket. This little guy, here's our brake caliper, which if I set it up this way, dude, this is gonna fit really nice. I kinda wanna keep the rear axle pushed as far back as it can be and then mount the engine just inside of it so that we are truly technically mid-engine. 
Ah, nice. You could make the argument that our current carts are mid-engine, but they're kind of more of a rear engine setup because they are hanging over the axle a little bit. Yeah, when I was first thinking about this, I thought we were gonna have to do, and I've mentioned it a couple of times, I thought we were gonna have to do some like crazy jack shafts to like move everything up and out. But now that I'm seeing like how, where everything's gonna nestle in by itself, dude, it looks like something. Yeah, it does. I'll give you credit for converting my cart into a lathe. Later this week, we might go look at an actual lathe. Maybe we'll get some shots of that. Yeah, I got a lead on a really nice old lathe. So we're gonna check it out. I am no professional lathe operator. I've actually never used one. Well, I've done wood turning. Hey, Grampy. But uh, it's a little different with yeah. steel. So, I mean, what am I saying? Of course I'm a professional lathe operator. You guys just saw it in this video. What am I, yeah, pardon that me. That wasn't sketchy. Pardon me, no, no. <laughs> I still have all my fingers. It's all good. Come on. Should we call this one? I think so. Boom. If y'all are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe to see the rest of this crazy build as it comes to fruition, plus a bunch of fun stuff along the way. Make sure you hit those notifications there so you we... guys don't miss anything that's coming up because, man, there's a lot. Yep. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> All right, let's get out of cool. here. All right.